best fiends fans my name is megan and i'm from the youtube channel insomniac stream for today's video we're going to be bringing mummy dina to life for halloween with a little bit of help from some face paint and a black background first thing you want to do is sketch out where this design is going to be especially because you have to kind of map around your own features and how to best hide them i did make sure to block my brows down with just a little bit of washable glue on them it just helps flatten them so that the paint will go over easily once you have the line sketched in, it may look a little crazy, but just as long as you know where everything's going, then you'll be good. From here, you just want to block out all the colors that make up Mummy Dina. So I started with a green for the body, a cream color for the bandages, and then a coral color for the horns. I find leaving a little bit of space between the bandage wraps helps you remember where they're supposed to overlap and sit on top of each other. That way it'll be easier later on when you're shading. I also took some white face paint and made sure to fill in the teeth and place them where they would best fit for the illusion. And then I also just used the coral color to fill in the tongue. Now you of course could leave this design mainly for the face and just go from there and just like black out your neck or wear a dark hoodie. But I did want to carry this down further. So I went ahead and did the same type of sketching and blocking out of the body for Dina along my neck and shoulder. I found it easiest to just look at a picture of the concept art and just went from there to figure out where all the little features would go. And then in the same way I did with the face, I filled them in with all the different body paint colors. With everything blocked out, you can move on to a little bit of shading to help bring it to life. For this, I just took a dark brown eyeshadow and a fluffy brush and started running it over all the edges and overlaps in the bandages. This both helps add a little bit of texture and dimension to the bandages themselves, but then also helps you showcase which bandages are supposed to be sitting on top of each other and which ones would be more recessed. Before moving on to outlining, there was a few other areas I had to fill in. So I just took a dark red to fill in the extra piece in the mouth and as well as put the white all over the eyes and set with powder to keep it in place. And then I moved on to a black face paint. This we're gonna use to outline everything and really help bring that animated feel as well as make it stand out a lot more on the skin. The lines along the outside you can keep a little bit thicker since they're going to be blacked out entirely anyways, but for any areas that you want to look a little bit more delicate, you just want to use a soft touch with a fine detail brush and just take your time doing some of the more trickier areas such as going over the nose and parts of the face that curve a lot more. They tend to become a little bit tricky for lining since the brush wants to push down harder in those areas, so as long as you go slow it should be fine. With the outlining done, the big way to sell this illusion is to go ahead now and pretty much black out every other part of skin that's showing. So go all the way around the entire design as well as into your hairline, along your shoulders, neck, everything, and add the black face paint. That way, against a black background, you will hopefully be able to make everything else but Mummy Dina disappear. An optional step I did was add a little bit more green to the body parts of Dina that were showing through just to give a little bit more dimension and shadow that would be apparent from the bandages being over top. And then a big thing to help kind of make everything pop is to always add some good white highlights at the end. So I went ahead and added this pretty much to the entire design on nearly every bandage, on the horns, along the skin, and so on and so forth. And then the final step is to complete the eyes. So for this, I just took the black again, outlined and made kind of a bottom shadow to help hide my eye shape a little bit. And then of course, mapped out where the pupils would be, added a little bit of green since that exists in the concept art, of course, highlight. And then that is it for bringing Mummy Dina to life. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment and subscribe to the Best Fiends YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments as well. Wishing you a very happy and safe Halloween this year, and we will see you next video.